Well, this looks pretty snazzy. Pretty cool. We're filming and they're getting a renovator. That's a good question. So the worst screwed people there for nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and I feel like it actually might be it. Uh, well, it shows a picture of it. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this looks already finished. Yeah. Hmm. No, this is definitely just like a, a sketch or whatever. It's the beta. It's the beta mode. So, I'm currently in a place called Looperon, and uh, we're actually heading towards this big old abandoned resort. Well, if it even is still abandoned, according to that, we don't know. Um, we're just stopping off for lunch. We've got Alex with us again. Uh, might be his last trip with us before he goes back to Haiti. <sighs> hey, Mo. Huh. Found your chair. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful view though. Awesome. We ordered some food here and they brought us this really cool looking cozy thing for our gigantic bottle of beer. <laughs> Which, there's a lot so Alex and I are going to share it. Wow, now that's a club sandwich. This guy got double sandwiches. Why don't they just put both sandwiches on one plate? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> We got uh, some chicken and chicken some papas. And papa, yeah. <laughs> Had a half decent meal. Now we get to look at the view a little bit of the marina. A lot of people here come to park their yachts and stuff. Uh, there's like a mansion up there. Pretty cool. Nice area. I like it. It's calm. A lot of people actually take their little boats here from their bigger boat. So they take those over, they come and eat. They chill, and then they go back to their boat. <laughs> um, excuse me, sir. Are you lost? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hello. Aww. Abandoned? Looks still abandoned. Yeah. This is the front doors. It's definitely still abandoned, which is good. This is the one. That oh, nice. They blocked off the front uh, lobby. Oh no. Bonjour. Come here. Oh, she's actually listening to me. Come here. You got her attention now. Come here. She looks, uh, she looks agitato. I just want you to know that I just had a burger. It's, it's taking it. <laughs> what the hell? Is it? I just had a burger and it's your cousin, Andrew. The yeah. funniest thing is that it was just taking a sh while it was staring you <laughs> right, in, right into your soul. <laughs> Come here. Oh, it's so big. Right. Mm -hmm. I never knew female cows had horns. I thought it was only a male thing. She's drinking beer! Holy sh**! <laughs> She's got a president in her mouth! <laughs> she knows. She knows what's good. <laughs> what the heck did we just find? Oh. It's definitely abandoned. It's kind of cool looking. Webs. I don't know how we're gonna get in there though. I don't know how we're the get in doors are locked. Bro, I bet this mansion has a view of the bay. What is this? A pile of like whatever that is on the ground. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is that? <gasps> oh my god. What is it? What is it? Are those spiders? Is it alive? Oh, it's something died. What is that? God. Bro, what the hell is that? So whatever I heard was from back there. I have never seen... It's a dead dog. Is it? I think so. Oh, man. Is that a dog? Dude... Bro, I've never seen anything like this. That's creepy. Something's moving around back there.
think so? No, there isn't. Really? Oh my god! What the f? This is the house of dead animals? Apparently. What the hell? I think somebody might be in that back room, eh? I don't know, I heard something. Hola! Yeah. That is the weirdest dead dog I've ever seen. Yeah, no kidding. No, it's not Nothing? Thing. Okay. There's a bunch of showers. Dude, this house is terrifying. That's creepy as It's like there's just a whole family of dogs in here. Oh, this is scary. Look at these vines are coming down. Is it vines going through the house? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, no, it's upstairs. <laughs> oh, man. Shall we go up? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess we're on it. It's like the hot house straight out of Saw. Dude, there's like what? drawings on the wall of things someone's living in. Really? Hola? Hola? The door is moving. The door is moving? Yeah, there's a door right there. What, what, what? What the f What the hell? Is the devil? Oh man. Oh my god. Whoa. What the f Is that who I think that is? Uh, well, that kind of looks like, kind of like Hitler. I don't know who this looks like, though. This is the devil. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, and holy wasps. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I drew all this, though. I don't know. Dude, this, this house might be used for voodoo. Yeah, maybe. Look at that one. Yeah. Oh, there's more here on the wall. What the hell? Well, at least not now, anyway. Huh? At least not right now. Yeah. Someone's definitely doing food with this house. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so we thought the house across there might have been abandoned, but we think it might just be an unfinished mansion or whatever. Oh, Whoa. man, really? <laughs> I thought Sorry. I was hearing something. Something flew into my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Alright. Alright guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are uh, officially less than two days left before we head back home. Um, so Mo is pretty much out right now. He's going to get Alex. Uh, he is our Haitian friend who's here until tomorrow and then he's actually heading back home. 
crazy thing is because of the conflict in Haiti right now, uh, the embassies, like I had mentioned before, are closed. There's no way for him to actually get his papers right away. So he has to go back home and then begin that process over there and then hopefully be able to get back into the Dominican Republic to come here and work, hopefully live, um, hopefully bring his family over here. His his wife and uh, his baby are back home in Haiti. So obviously he's gonna go home and uh, he's telling me the first thing he's probably gonna do is paint his house because apparently it needs work. Um, the good thing is that where Alex live is more north. It's uh, not near the city of Port-au-Prince and that's where majority of the conflicts are. As you guys might be hearing from the news, their government has essentially fallen. Uh, their president, prime minister, whatever he is, has stepped down and they apparently have to go into like some voting thing. Uh, the problem is that the leader of this gang, no joke, his nickname is Barbecue. First name, first real name is Jimmy. Don't remember his last name. But uh, basically the cannibal eating guy is running the country or at least he's at least taken over the city at the moment and we don't really know what's going to happen it's kind of a scary thing um i'm hoping alex can make it back home safe avoiding all of these criminals and uh horrible people um hopefully everything will work out for the best eventually when things do settle down i do want to go and visit haiti and see what it's really like be able to document it it is the poorest country in the western hemisphere they've been having a lot of issues for years you know people taking advantage of the country <coughs> clintons uh we'll just leave it at that but if you want to know about a lot of the history do some research. There's there's a lot of horrible things that people have done to take advantage of the Haitian people. And it's terrible because we've met quite a few of them and they're very, very, um, very nice people. But uh, I think Mo is just pulling in now. I think I heard the front gate. But yeah, it's sad to leave. Um, but I'm actually excited to go home. I feel like uh, I've been here forever, but I also feel like time has just flown by. There they are now. So Mo has brought Alex over and there's a reason why. <laughs> Hmm. Reason why is because we're gonna basically give him everything in the fridge. Hey! hey. You have permission to film me? Yep! Hey, <laughs> hey Alex! Are you ready to go back uh, to Haiti or what? I'm gonna go back tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? <laughs> how you doing, sir? Good, man. How are you? Hey, you know, I've been home, you know, cleaning everything. Yeah. Getting ready for tomorrow. Getting ready? Yeah. For your adventure back home? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How was your day? It was good. We're just kind of relaxing. We went to the beach. Yeah. Did some other stuff, you know. Typical stuff you do here in the Dominican Republic, right? Yeah, fun. <laughs> oh, we basically cleaned out the entire fridge. <laughs> and we're giving everything to Alex, and he's taking it all to Haiti somehow. <laughs> here you go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Joe basically cleaned out the fridge. This was actually full, just the stuff that he can't bring. We gave him absolutely everything in the freezer except for zatar, which is like a spice from Lebanon, because he's probably not going to know how to use that. The real question is, how the heck is he all going to carry this <laughs> the entire way there? I don't even know, but he's going to figure it out. <laughs> all right, Alex, I'm going to stay here, so I'll Have see you, you later. Okay, sir. Safe drive. <laughs> All right, man. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. All right, man. And then we're gonna talk, right? <laughs> yep, for sure. Message me. Oh man, what a scary thing to think about—that you're you're going to a country that's not even on the verge of civil war. You can pretty much call it a civil war at this point. And uh, yeah, that's that's scary. I don't know. I don't even know like if he knows what to expect. Um, if he really knows how bad things are. Like who knows what's going to happen when he gets to the border, right? Um, because all the ports are essentially closed. He anticipates that he's going to be getting on a bus that goes from here to Puerto Plata, which is not far from here. And then essentially Puerto Plata brings him, I guess, to a town nearby where the, um, the port of entry is, the border crossing, to get into Haiti. And uh, yeah, I have honestly no idea. It's like a, a very precarious situation kind of scary especially because we've gotten we've become pretty close with Alex like he, he's genuinely our friend at this point um, we spent a lot of time together had some some laughs and <laughs> a lot of good memories right so hopefully he makes it obviously um, send him your your prayers and your love 
And uh, yeah, well, uh, I have his number now, so I will message him once he gets to Haiti uh, to make sure, obviously, he's safe and sound. And clearly, he's got lots of stuff to give to all the people uh, in his village, his family. He's got a little kid there as well. So Mo donated like tons of uh, Shadia, Ranya's old clothing that he obviously doesn't need anymore because Ranya's probably grown out of it at this point, And who knows when they'll be back here as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it there all is to say about that i am excited also sad at the same time to go back home because it has been i think 17 days now 17 18 days something like that and uh yeah i've just gotten so used to things over here like mo's been here for about three months which is crazy and uh after this i am going to be heading to japan we're going to be starting a new adventure i am going to be going home first just recoup a little bit get my uh mind ready for being 12 hours ahead in the future once we get to tokyo and then uh the new adventure starts there all right so we're in Sasua. Yeah. The, the girls here. But I've walked down here one time. And yeah. This girl walked up and he just grabbed my dick. Oh my god, like, that's that's a f are you doing? And then she did that that's to Mochi. So oh yeah, that's all the prostitutes down here. Yeah. This is it, Party Central. Yeah. The prostitute this is all prostitute area by the way. Yeah. No thank you. <laughs> we'll observe, but that's as far as it goes. I just came for ice cream. The ice cream store happened to be in the prostitute center. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, we went for uh, gigantic 22 ounce steaks. He's like, I want ice cream. We're making the eye contact thing. It's the second yeah. you make eye contact. Or oh, think we have a customer. Yeah. Oh, he's going to pick somebody up. <laughs> Guys, this is no joke. This is literally what's going literally, on. Right every here. white guy <laughs> and not white guy from the US yeah. or North America are here to pick a prostitute. Yeah. They're all over the place. Look at this. Look at all these prostitutes. Yeah. That's not a woman, that's a man, but he's pretending to be a prostitute. That's... I mean, it's 2024, right? Prostitutes of all kinds. Be whatever you want to be. So prostitution here used to be legal. Mm -hmm. And then they made it illegal like five years ago. Yeah. But they still do it. But the cops are sort of crocking down. Sort of. Whatever As you they can climb. see. Yeah. This, this, this restaurant, I accidentally, I accidentally came here to eat one time. Yeah. Oh, it was so awkward. Let's see what's going on here. But the police. <coughs> yeah, look at these prostitutes here. Oh. Oh, we got the police up ahead. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. We got the commanders up ahead here. We got the batons ready. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna beat the crap out of somebody. Yeah, these are all whorehouses. Yeah. These buildings? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's another one. It's crazy, man. Yeah. So that that restaurant back there, I came here with Moshi to have chicken wings. I read yeah. online it had the best chicken wings in town. <laughs> Until you learned about Crazy yeah. Ranch, right? Yeah, but we walked in, we walked in and everyone's just looking at us like, what the fuck are these guys doing here? <laughs> and Moshi's dark. I'm dark skinned. You know, we're not light skinned. Yeah. But they're all just staring at us. Every two seconds a girl will walk up to us. That's oh, crazy. Something poppy? Or like, no. Turns out it's a restaurant, but it's also a restaurant where you go and pick up prostitutes. Yeah. It was so awkward. And the other thing too is uh, we literally were walking down to get ice cream. And what did the guy say to you? Something about Tony Montana? Yeah, he's asking me if I wanted the cocaine. <laughs> basically, basically, yeah. Basically, he says Tony Montana. It's, it's a very common thing that happens around here. Yeah, we had a guy on a motorcycle come up to me, him, and Aldo the other day. Yeah. He's like, you want some cocaine? So we yeah, that one, that one was a little bit more upfront. This guy was like trying to use code words, Tony Montana and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> She'd be like, no, I'm Federale, bitch. Yeah, I'm Federale. <laughs> Policia Nacional. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the house. I've had enough of this crap. <laughs> well, it's finally time to go back to Canada. I can't stop crying. <laughs> I've been crying nonstop since last night. About leaving or? No, about you leaving. Oh. I, I literally had a pillow last night and I put your picture, I printed a picture of it and I put it on the pillow and I was hugging it all night long. I may have made out and other things to it too, but just it's not the point, Angelo. The point is, is you're leaving me here. All by myself, god damn it! I'm gonna crash this car! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I may or may not have done the same thing. 
What? Uh, <laughs> what? With a pillow. Oh. But I put Aldo's face on it. Oh, thank God. Yeah, because I miss him so much. It's been a while. <laughs> but yeah, we're on our way to the airport and uh, time to go back to Canada. And then I'm going to Japan, so it's all good. But there's that time to go back to Canada in between. I know, right? That it's going to be cold. Cold, but goodbye, unfinished gas station. <laughs> Comes your tenure, I know, right? Finished. <laughs> Goodbye, random car wash that turns into a club late at night. Goodbye, Wilfredo, Oliva Census, and Christ is it? Yep. That that was that guy you said that you ran into at one point. Twice in two years. <laughs> Comes up to me, walks up to me, shakes my hands, like I remember you. Oh my. I don't know you. <laughs> he's, he's like, we took a picture together. I'm like, uh -huh. no, we didn't. He's like, I'm the mayor. I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. I'm Mo Sarchi, but I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm the mayor of Susua. I'm like, oh, cool. In my head, I'm like, oh, you're the corrupt guy that apparently breaks people's legs when they don't want to do what you want to do. Right. He's, that's what he's known for. <laughs> okay. So then a year so, a year goes he's by. He's a gangster. Pretty much. Essentially. But he actually gets stuff done around here. Well, I mean, yeah, he breaks people's legs. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you gotta break a leg or something. Sometimes, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, my Uncle Tony used to do it all the time. <laughs> Francini Alfredo, you know what I'm saying? So, exactly. anyways, um, a year later, I come back here with Moshi at the same restaurant that I was at. He walks in. I remember you. I took a picture with you. I'm like, no. <laughs> Definitely didn't. I'm like, we met last year. You don't remember? He's like, no. <laughs> Goodbye, Freshy Freshy Cafe. We never ate at, and I said, I'll try yeah. to there every day. <laughs> well, we tried to go for espresso, but no power. Well, one thing I'm not going to miss is all this damn chaos. <laughs> well, aren't you going to miss Supermercado Playero? No. <laughs> I prefer Sobeys. <laughs> Wasn't it Aldo that bought like $80 grapes? $20, I think. Grapes. Something like that, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, certain things are just too expensive here. Oh, goodbye, Susua Beach. Behind this, beach. I know, behind this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at what they're building here. Well, looks like we gotta come back. <laughs> yeah, they're renovating, they're like building a big. Plaza here. It's mm. gonna look like that. There you go. Over here. Ugh. Airport. Goodbye, cows. There's two. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> uh, we need to get an airport. Damn, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> All right, Mo. It's been fun. Here? Let me pull over. Yeah, I guess pull up a little bit. It's been fun. Thanks for hosting. We'll uh, we'll see you in uh, four years. You saying you're going for four years? No, I don't know. I'm just joking. <laughs>
uh, video that I have from our recent adventure of Dominican Republic. It was kind of all over the place. I had that footage of that random plane that was actually on our way back from Santo Domingo when Aldo was still there with us. Um, but something kind of crazy happened before Mo and I ended up leaving. So what happened was... Alex was essentially intending on going back to Haiti. Uh, we had given him all that stuff. He was ready to go. He calls us the next day and Mo looks at his phone. He's like, oh, I have a missed call from Alex. What did he want? He was actually supposed to already be on his way back home at that point. But uh, what happened was Alex got a phone call and uh, basically that phone call was kind of a godsend. Essentially, somebody called him from one of the nearby hotels, I believe in Cabarete, and they called him to give him a security job which is great because now he was actually able to stay in the Dominican. He still needs to get his papers done, which he now has the funds, thanks to you guys, to be able to do that, which is great. Um, but yeah, he got a, a full-time job. He's going to get to, I believe, live on the resort. Uh, they're going to feed him and all of that stuff, and now he can actually you know, send money back home to take care of his family as well. But yeah, it's kind of crazy how that just randomly happened out of the blue. And then basically after that, we ended up flying home. Um, so from now moving forward, all of the content you guys are going to see on this channel and on the main channel, of course, are going to be from here in Japan. I arrived yesterday afternoon and it's already been crazy. I had a crazy adventure last night, uh, which you guys will see very, very soon. I'm going to do as much live streams as I can, as much main channel content, vlog content here as well. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Don't forget to uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, we'll see you guys very, very soon.